research in technology and its advancement has for long been regarded as a preserve for the highly educated and those with scientific minds. However, today, more and more young people are getting involved in scientific research projects, some of which have contributed to great scientific discoveries. While officiating at an international science and technology exhibition by Galaxy International School Uganda, Minister for Education, Science, Technology and Sports, Jessica Alupo, highlighted the need for parents to interest and expose their children to gadgets such as iPads and modern phones in order to help them innovate and get more motivations to learn more. It's the right time for parents to engage their young children's minds in science, technology, before they get corrupted and consumed in, in less meaningful activities. The training in logic and the appreciation of how machines reason will enable our children to absorb better any and every course of life and career they choose to pursue. Caution, however, has to be exercised when undertaking such an important but risky decision. Parents have to make sure that the content that children are being exposed to is suitable for them. All of us must have observed that technology is changing the world around us. And so it will change the way our children learn. By clutching the initiative, therefore, we can make sure it is good for teachers, stakeholders, and our children. This will eventually lead to innovations and motivating children to learn even more. The Galaxy International School Uganda Science and Technology Exhibition brought out the best in the participants. Categories of scientific research showcased here included, among others, hardware control, short move making, and art and craft. Coordinator Gisutek Expo, Mr. Farouk Kalilov, told UBC TV that students' young minds ought to be exposed to the new world of technology and also embrace new teaching methods that are information technology led. Everything is changing. The 21st century education is showing that we don't need to teach the students just being in front of the, of the board. So whenever the students learn, they learn better whenever they do something. The expo that saw many walk away with gold and silver medals had participants from 12 countries, which included Uganda, Rwanda, Nigeria, Somalia, and Pakistan, among others. Jane Nyamcha and Gloria Gwitabinji reporting for UBC News in Kampala.